Blessings to you beautiful people on YouTube and on Facebook. Blessings to your families this morning. Hope everyone is well. Well, listen, we're going to dive in there really quick. You got blessings to all you this morning. My God, my God, you're looking great out there. Hey, listen, we're going to talk about something that mm, when I looked at the statistics, it's really staggering. About 64% uh, use profanity. 64% of us in the world use profanity. Now, if 64% of us use profanity, I wonder how many church goers cuss. I don't, I'm, I'm saying church goers because church goers don't make you a Christian. Uh, and I'm trying to think how can I let you know about profanity without you throwing some that your phone or TV wherever you're watching this because majority of everybody cuss. Now I don't cuss. I used to cuss every word almost out of my mouth. I used to cuss. And my parents uh, now my dad cussed, but my mom was a Christian and she did not. I never heard my mom cuss. I, I've, I've witnessed real Christian. This is why I don't play church. I, I you know, and I have fun. I enjoy. I laugh. I, I, you know, I shoot pool. I go bowling. I go fishing. I go camping. You know, I talk to people, we make jokes, we have good time, good, clean fun. It's amazing how you don't think that you can take that stuff out of your life because you just so, you've been raised up around and your mama cussed, your daddy cussed. I had somebody tell me, that's what my family do. We all cuss. That, that is not cute. And, and Presley, let's, let, men, it's not good for men to cuss. Men could look crazy, but we, men is a, not justifying for men because there's no different cuss words. And I'm going to give you scripture to let you know and, uh, that cussing is not great with God. And, uh, and when, you, when, you, when you just go to your phone and Google using profanity, there's so many scriptures that God is saying don't do that. So if we believe in God like church folks do and when I said church folk, that means church gorgeous. You there every Sunday. You know the pastor's nickname. You know the wife, what school, college she went to. You you know all the children's name, all a middle name. So you at church all the time, but you cuss. And other church members know other church members cuss. You guys hang out and you cuss. And that's not good when you confessing that you're a Christian and every word come out of your mouth is a cuss word. And women, listen, them big four letter words you be using, F him, he ain't doing enough for the baby, and you know, blah, 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 beep, beep. Every time I do that, that mean they cuss it. Beep, beep. They ain't going to do enough for the kid. Stupid, beep, beep. And you do it that other, beep, beep, and all that. That's chaos. That's when you don't have your business and your priorities straight. Hey, if you don't like me and you dissing me out, you know what? I'm going to get rid of you. I don't know why it's so hard. And I know love plays a big part in it. Well, you never been in love, Pastor? You know, yes, I have. I've loved people before and they, they have walked away and we broke up or whatever. I've loved them. Come on, somebody. You can love a person and by not be in love. In love is foolish sometimes. You got to be careful what you're doing when you fall in love. Because if you fall in love and that other person is not on the same page, you finna go through some hell. That's why it's so it is so important that you talk in a relationship, that you don't never get to that chaos. You gotta know, but the problem you're laying in the bed with people too early, and you can't figure out how the person is in no couple months. You all in the bed like you 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 married to this dude, you married to this girl. Come on, people. That's why you're going through chaos with these relationships. Then you're using profanity all day long. I, the lady told me one time th that she wanted to uh, wanted me to talk to her little son, 14, 15 year old boy, and uh, she called me on the phone. 
line. When, when I called her, she didn't know it was me on the other end. But I can hear her when she picked the phone up. One of her little kids picked the phone up. And she said, is that phone, that phone me? I told you, keep your beep, beep, beep off my phone. I don't want you touching my phone and you running all my juice, boop, boop, boop. And she don't know that the phone is on. And I'm on the other end. Say, hello, hello. Get your stupid boop, boop, boop over there and get that stuff out of my living room, boop, boop. So when I finally, she said, hello, I said, hey, uh, I've been on here, but somebody must have picked the phone up or something. And she said, oh, hey, Pastor, how you doing? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about uh, uh, no names for no no game. Uh, little Rudy Pooty, uh, he, he doing bad in school. I just need you to talk to him. You know, they uh, they saying he bad and, and that he be saying stuff out of his mouth and, and cussing people out and, and cussed at the little boy the other day. And, and I don't know what to do. And they talking about putting him on reeling and all this. And I think he... He just, I don't know what to do. I Would you pray for him? I says, hang on, sweetie. I said, first, I heard you. Every word that you was telling your children to do, you was cussing at them, sweetie. Well, Pastor, I just, I just been cussing so long, I apologize. I said, no, 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 don't apologize to me, sweetie. You have to apologize to your children. God first, because I mean, that coming out of your mouth, that's not no love for them. Calling them MF and you stupid this, don't do this, MF this. That is not where we need to be, people. So I had to let her know the problem is you. Parents, you have to be careful. You telling your son to get you a bag of weed and you the mom? You know he's selling dope? You cussing on the phone just all out loud and your little baby's in hearing you? Your little six, seven-year-old daughter is hearing you? This B, I can't stand this B. I can't wait to get in her face. I'm going to tell that MF something on that. I'm telling you, it is a mess. Young people come in the store, right? All people full in there. And help them. He ain't going to be talking to me crazy. And unless the other day I got out of the car and this girl had two children, dragging two children with her, with her uh, 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 going to see another man in the gym. Because I know she wasn't taking the kids in to do no weightlifting the way she was dressed. So she must have was dating some dude inside of the uh, the weightlifting room uh, uh, place. And cussing her ex out, I guess. You did. You stupid MF. You stupid. And I said, that is not cute. And all I hear, all I hear is arguing and domestic. And you stupid this. Why you cheating on me? I, I'm so sick of that, and this is why I love older age, because I'm so glad that I didn't go through none of that. I wasn't into none of that. I told the women the truth, and the truth will do what? Set you free. Men, stop lying to the women. That's, that's pointing at that woman was a good woman until you met her. You tore up. Now you can't understand why she ain't, she ain't listening to nothing you say, because of the fact you tore it up years ago. You did that. 90% of the time that the woman is jumping on a man for something because you're not taking care of your business. If you take care of a woman and you be nice to her and sweet with her and she's giving you her body and having babies by you, that woman loves you. Because what fool go lay down with you and have babies with you and try to take care of your raggedy self? And, and, and my, I, I got attitude right there because I want the men to step up too. But we're not so much bashing people today. I just want you to know that profanity coming out of your mouth won't have you prosper. And you look at, it, at yourself. Let's go to a couple of them because you're looking at me funny. Let's go at Matthew's chapter 12, verse 36. Let's look at this. Matthew's chapter 12, verse 36 and 37. I tell you on the day of judgment, people, we'll give account. I tell you on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by the words you will be justified and by the words you will be condemned. You hear that? Let's look at another one. James chapter 3 verse 10. 
from the same mouth comes blessings, church people, and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Let's go to the third one. Matthews 15, 10 and 11. And he called the people to him and said to them, Here is an understanding. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles a person. Wow. So it's very important. And I advise you, don't be mad at me, but it's a lot of people that cuss that really make, especially, especially women. I'm telling you, women, listen, you are nurturers. You're, you have to be careful about what's coming out of your mouth because you're raising them babies. You can't be MS, I can't stand there, F this B, F this you know, stupid this, F this, F this, F this, F this. You, you can't. That is not, is not ladylike and it don't look nice coming out of your mouth. It really knocks you down a level. I'm just, I'm, let me just from a man point of view. I mean, I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what you're trying to do in life. And especially if you're a Christian church girls and bo young men going to church, uh, uh, older men and women going to church. I'm telling you, you have to be careful about cussing and talking about you a Christian. You can't be no Christian and cussing like that. Not every word that come out of your mouth. Well, listen, my time is up. God bless you all. Remember, have some good stuff coming out of your mouth so good things can come back to you. Is that good news? I love you all. Be blessed out there. And remember this. If you follow this word, I'll see you on top.